Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Share Experience. In this video, we are going to solve three different problems in bills of exchange. These problems I have taken from T.S. Graval textbook. Introduction with journal entries are covered in the last video. If you guys have not watched it, please watch it. Now we will see the problem. On 1st January 2019, A sold goods to B for 5000 plus IGST at 18%. A received 900 by check from B and drew on him a bill for the balance amount, payable 3 months after date. The bill was duly accepted by B. A retained the bill till due date. On the due date, the bill was paid. Past general entries in the books of A and B also show necessary accounts in the books of both the parties. In the question, it says on 1st Jan 2019, A sold goods to B, which means A is the drawer and B is the drawee. Also, we are asked to show the necessary accounts in the books of both the parties. Let's prepare the journal entries in the books of A and B. Here A sold goods to B on January 1st 2019 for 5000 plus IGST at 18%. Journal entry in A's books that is in the draws books is B data to sales account to output IGST account. IGST is 18%. So 5000 into 18 by 100 which comes to 900. We will mention 900 in the credit side for IGST and for sales account it is 5000. For B account the amount is 5900. This is the total sale value including IGST. Here B is our customer or debtor. Since B is the receiver we are debiting B's account or you can remember in other way that is debtors are our assets. Whenever assets increase, we need to debit it. Sales is an income or revenue. As per the nominal account rule, we need to credit all incomes and gains. In other words, we can remember whenever incomes or revenue increases, we need to credit it. Then we have IGST on sales. That is, we are receiving tax on sales. Tax on sales is output GST. Output GST is a liability for the seller. Whenever liability increases, we need to credit it. In B's books, B is purchasing goods from A. So the journal entry is purchase account data input IGST account data to A. For IGST, it is 900 in the debit column. For purchase account, it is 5000 in the debit column and for A it is 5900 in the credit column. Here purchase is an expense. As per the nominal account rule, we need to debit all expenses and losses. In other words, whenever expense increase, we need to debit it. Here B is paying tax on purchases which is input GST. Input GST on goods is an asset for the purchaser. Whenever asset increases, we need to debit it. A is the creditor. As per the personal account rule, we need to credit the giver. Or in other words, creditor is a liability. Whenever liability increases, we need to credit it. In the question, it says that A has received 900 by check from B and drew on him a bill for the balance amount. We need to prepare journal entry for this transaction. So journal entry in A's books is bank account data bills receivable account data to B. A has received 900 from B. So for bank account, 900 in the debit column. For bills receivable account, 5000 in the debit column and for B, it is 5900 in the credit column. Here, bank comes under personal account. So, as per the rule, we need to debit the receiver. In other words, money is coming into our bank account. Bank is an asset. 
and whenever asset increases we debit it bills receivables are also assets as per the real account rule debit what comes in in other words asset is increasing here whenever asset increases debit it here we are crediting b because b is the giver in other words asset is decreasing so we need to credit it journal entry in b's books is a debtor to bank account to bills payable account for bank we credit 900 for bills payable we credit 5000 and for a we debit 5900 here we are debiting a because a is the receiver in other words creditor is a liability liability is decreasing so we need to debit it and we are crediting bank account as per the personal account rule we credit the giver in other words asset is decreasing so we need to credit it bills payables or liabilities liability is increasing so we credit it in the question it says a retained the bill till due date on due date the bill was paid the bill is drawn on 1st january 2019 and the bill period is 3 months so 3 months from jan 1st is 1st feb 1st march 1st april and we need to add 3 days grace period so the due date is april 4th 2019 On April fourth, A received the bill amount from B. So the journal in A's books is cash account debtor to bills receivable account. Amount is five thousand. Cash is an asset. Debit what comes in. Bills receivable is also an asset. But we have received the amount from B. So credit what goes out. In other words, when asset increases. we debit it and when asset decreases we credit it in b's books b is paying the amount to a so journal entry is bills payable account debtor to cash account bills payable is a liability by paying the bills payable to a liability of b is decreasing when the liability decreases we debit it and we are crediting to cash because cash is an asset and it is decreasing when asset decreases we credit it our next question is dinesh received from shridhar an acceptance for 3000 on 1st september 2018 at 3 months dinesh got the acceptance discounted at 9% per annum from his bank on the due date shridhar paid the required amount Give the journal entries in the books of Dinesh and Shridhar. Here, Dinesh received from Shridhar an acceptance for three thousand. So Dinesh is the drawer and Shridhar is the drawee. In the question, they have mentioned that Dinesh received from Shridhar an acceptance for three thousand, which means sale has already happened and the acceptance is given by Shridhar. In this case, we need to write the journal entry only for acceptance. we don't have to write the journal entry for credit sales journal entry in the dinesh books is bills receivable account debtor to shridhar and the amount is 3000 journal entry in the shridhar books is dinesh debtor to bills payable account amount is 3000 in the problem it says dinesh got the acceptance discounted at 9% per annum from his bank which means Dinesh discounted the bill and got the bill amount from bank. The journal entry for this in Dinesh books is bank account debtor discounting charges account debtor to bills receivable account. Let's calculate the discounting charges first. Three thousand is the bill amount and it is discounted at nine percent and the bill period is three months. So discounting charges will be three thousand into nine by hundred into three by twelve, which comes to sixty seven point five. Let's round it off to sixty eight. We need to deduct this discounting charges from bill amount. 
that is 3000 minus 68 which comes to 2932. This 2932 is credited to drawers bank account that is Dinesh bank account. Here we have debited discounting charges because discounting charges are expenses. Expense is increasing here. Whenever expense increases, we need to debit it. For bank, the amount is 2932. For discount charges, it is 68. And for bills receivable, it is 3000. In Sridhar's books, there won't be any entry because he will pay the amount on the due date. In the question, it says on the due date, Sridhar paid the required amount and the bill period is 3 months. So, 3 months from 1st September 2018 is 1st October, 1st November, 1st December plus 3 days. So, due date will be December 4th. General entry in the Sridhar's books is bills payable account data to bank account. Amount is 3000. Here bank is credited because Sridhar paid directly to the bank as the bill was discounted by Dinesh earlier. So the new payee is bank not Dinesh. So we are crediting bank account instead of cash account. Our next question is A would be 8000. He gave a bill for the same on 1st August 2018 payable after 4 months at the Bank of India, Chandani Chok, Delhi. Immediately after receiving the bill, B endorsed it to C in payment of his debt. On 1st September, C discounted the bill at 12% per annum. The bill is met on due date. Pass the necessary journal entries in the books of A, B and C. In the question it says A owed B which means A is liable to pay B. So A is the drawee and B is the drawer. Then it says B endorsed it to C in payment of his debt. C becomes the endorsee. So there are three parties involved here. The question says on the 1st September C discounted the bill at 12% per annum. So let's calculate the discounting charges now. 8000 is the bill amount, 12% is the discount rate and bill period is 4 months. So 8000 into 12 by 100 into 4 by 12 which comes to 320 and this is wrong because in the question it says the bill was discounted on 1st September and the bill was drawn on 1st August. So we need to consider only 3 months here not 4 months that is starting from 1st September. So discounting charges is 8000 into 12 by 100 into 3 by 12 which comes to 240. This 240 is discounting charges. Here also they have not mentioned about the credit sales. So we don't have to write journal entry for credit sales. We can directly write acceptance journal. Our first journal in B's books is bills receivable account data to A. Amount is 8000. In A's books the journal is B data to bills payable account. Amount is 8000. In the problem it says Immediately after receiving the bill, B endorsed it to C. So, the journal entry in B's books is C debtor to bills receivable account. Amount is 8000. And in A's book, there won't be any entry because A will pay the bill amount on the due date. In the problem, they have asked us to pass the journal entries in the books of C as well. So the journal entry in C's books is bills receivable account data to B. Amount is 8000. And C discounted the bill on 1st September at 12% per annum. Journal entry for this in C's book is bank account data discounting charges account data to bills receivable account. We have already calculated the discounting charges that is 240. So 8000 minus 240 comes to 7760. 
this is the amount credited by bank to C's account. For bank account, the amount is 7760 in the debit column. For discounting charges, it is 240 and for bills receivable account, it is 8000. In the problem, it states the bill is met on due date. Bill was issued on 1st August 2018. The bill period is 4 months. So, 1st September, 1st October, 1st November and 1st December plus 3 days grace. So, the due date is December 4th. Journal entry in A's books is bills payable account data to bank account. Amount is 8000. In the beginning of the problem, it says A had to pay the bill to B. After that, B endorsed the bill to C and C discounted the bill and got the bill amount from the bank. So, A has to pay the bill amount to bank, not to C. So, bank becomes the new payee and we have credited to bank account. Hope you guys have understood the explanation. If you guys have any questions related to these problems, please post in the comment section below. And also if you guys like this explanation or if you think this video is helpful or useful to you guys, do not forget to click on the subscribe button. And thanks a lot for watching this video.